This is a tutorial on how to work two color double knit reversible cables. Here is a scarf. It's worked in two colors. It's reversible. It's the same on both sides. And it's worked this way using double knitting and reversible cables. This particular pattern is an eight row repeat. On row one, you do a right cross cable. On row five, you do a left cross cable. And all the other rows are just straight double knitting. To get started, I'm going to show you how to work the double knitting first. I'm going to turn it so you can see the side, how that looks. Because it's a reversible scarf, I have marked my side one with a marker, and it is also marked on my last cabling round, so I know which, which uh, row I'm on. So side one, and then I have two colors, which I'm calling A and B. So blue is the A, and white is the B. For side one, when I get started, to lock the edges together at the end of the row, I'm going to take the second color, color B, and I'm going to cross it over color A like this. So it's going to have one twist at the edge. I'll move my yarn around to make that a little less tangled. Okay, so now I have my yarns crossed at the end, and then I will start with normal double knitting for this row. Now I work double knitting with two colors in two hands. So I have color A, the blue, in my right hand, and color B, the white, in my left hand. And I work it basically the same as I do uh, when I'm working stranded knitting. All right, so I'm going to knit the first one. And each stitch will be knit in the same color as it's presented. So if it's a white stitch on the needle, I will work it white. If it's a blue stitch on the needle, I will work it blue. All right, so here we go. We're going to knit the blue. And as for normal double, double knitting, we'll bring both colors to the front. And we're going to purl the next color. In this case is white. Take them both to the back. Knit the next color, which is blue. Bring them both to the front and purl the next color, which is white. So three out of every four rows is just straight, plain double knitting. And you work it how you would work any other double knitting. Now I'm on a cabling row. This happens to be row 5, which in this pattern is a left-leaning cable on the second cable section. So the first eight stitches are the right-leaning cable, and the second eight stitches are the left-leaning cable, and it alternates that way across the row. So the first eight stitches are not cabled in this row. So we're going to start them like the regular double knit. So remember, I'm going to cross the second color, which in this case is white, over top of the first color, which is the blue, so that I lock the colors at the end of the row. So I have white over blue, and then I'm going to start my double knitting, regular double knitting for the first eight stitches. So here we go. Blue and purl the white. Knit the blue, purl the white. And then here it changes, so it's knit the white, 
pearl of blue. And another thing to remember in this pattern is that all the stitches are knit as presented. There are no color changes. <clears throat> if it's a blue stitch, it's knit blue, and if it's a white stitch, it's knit white. So there's the first eight, two, four, six, eight. Now the second eight are the ones we're doing the left cross for. So I will, just like any other regular cable, I will slip the next four stitches onto the cable needle. So it's a four over four cable, left leaning or front, because when you go left, you hold the stitches to the front of your work. Then I will work the next four stitches off the needle. So knit one blue, pearl one white, knit one blue, pearl one white. Okay, and then I will work the stitches from the cable needle. So bring this up here, and I will work these four. So this is starting with knit one white. Whoops, I split my stitch. Try that again. Okay, knit one white. Pearl one blue. It is a little bit tricky, I have to admit, working the uh, ribbed cable using the cable needle. Okay, so now we're done that. Okay, the next four stitch or next eight stitches, the next cabling section is plain on this round on this row. So I'll work the next eight as presented. Knit one blue pearl one white, and then switch, it's now knit one white, pearl one blue, knit one white, pearl one blue. And for this next cable, I will show you doing it without a cable needle. So, as I mentioned uh, previously, because it's a ribbed cable, when you do the cabling without a cable needle and you slip the first four stitches off the needle, they're going to pop wildly. So the knit stitches are going to come to the front, the purl stitches are going to go to the back, and it can make it tricky for picking them up. So the key is to keep your needles as parallel as possible and then pinch those loose stitches with your finger or thumb as close to the needle as you can so they don't pop all over the place. Now since this is a left cable, which comes to the, so the first set of stitches comes to the front for a left cable, we're going to go into the back of the second set of stitches. So I'll take my right needle into the back of the second set of four stitches, which also can be a little tricky. So it's a technique that requires a little bit of uh, patience and stick to itiveness And I don't recommend using a yarn that is splitty because it can be very easy to split your stitches when you're doing this. Okay, and see that? I picked up, oh no, that was right, okay. Okay, so make sure you only have four, not three or five. So there's two, four for the first half of the cable, and then two, four for the second half of the cable. All right, so now when I slip the first stitches off, I want to keep them as, keep my needles as parallel as possible and pinch those stitches close to the needle. So here we go, they all pop off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. And now we're gonna slip the four that are off back onto the left needle like that. We'll cross them over to the left, put the first four, or the second four, <laughs> which are now the first four, back on the left needle. And then we're going to knit the stitches as presented. So, knit one blue, pearl one white, knit 
one blue, pearl one white, and then it switches. Now we're going to knit one white, pearl one blue, knit one white, pearl one blue. Okay, and then we have only have one more set to finish the row. I'm releasing this tutorial about how to work double knit reversible cables in conjunction with a pattern that I have. If you are interested in the pattern, I will put a link below in the description box and you can find where to get it. Okay, here we are on the last cable of this row. So once again, because it's a left cross and the first four are coming to the front, I'm going to go in the back of the second four. All right, so my right needle's in the back of the second four. I'm going to slip all of the stitches off the needle, holding them as parallel as possible. And then we're going to slip the first four, hopefully. <laughs> oh dear, okay. So this is what happens sometimes. One. Oh, I see why. There's there's like a strand stuck in there. Okay, two. So it's a little more awkward when they go all go popping here, hither and yon, yon. Okay, so I got the four back on the left needle. Slip these over. It's good you got to see that because it does happen. All right, and now we'll knit one blue, pearl one white, knit one blue, pearl one white, and reverse and finish. Ah, look at this, I have a double stitch or what I would call an incomplete stitch. So I gotta fix that before I can work it. Okay, take this one to the back. And knit and purl. Okay, so that's my row, my cabling row. Now, as with all left-leaning cables, sometimes you'll see, as here, that the stitch that you pulled over gets loosey-goosey. Loose so what I do is I will just pull that here and distribute it across the row, taking up the slack like that. And then once it's blocked, you will never even know that it happened. And here, this was not a cable stitch, but it's a loosey-goosey one anyway. So I'll do the same thing, pull the stitches and distribute that looseness across the row. All right, so there you have it. Thanks for watching.